Good morning. Hey, it's me. The vlog today is starting a little different. You're starting with this face? With this girl? Me drinking coffee, it's raining outside. Today is Monday and it's Marathon Monday here in Boston. And I made the executive choice to not open a store today. Uh, one, it's raining. Two, uh, to get to that area of Boston, in that back bay where my store is located, uh, I am right, like my store is on the street right beside uh, where the finish line is. So you can imagine the amount of security and the amount of streets closed and the amount of everything going on that's happening around there that is just gonna make it really, really hard for me to even get there. And last year we were open during Marathon Monday and there's a, like restaurants are really good. Uh, there's a lot of people, but there's not a lot of people actually walking around and going into stores because a lot of them just are just trying to enjoy like this whole euphoria of finishing a, a marathon. So congratulations to all the runners. So, so like proud, like amazing. You guys are amazing. You guys are fantastic. So amazing. I know this video is gonna come out later than the marathon, but hey, if you uh, ran any marathon, you should be just know that that's like, I think that's amazing and congratulations and you have such an amazing strength. Uh, but now, hey, my name is Natalia. Uh, I run a boutique in Boston, a Brazilian uh, clothing store in Boston. Uh, my videos usually don't start with me at home on my chill off day. It usually starts with me showing uh, my day-to-day -day life and my fashion. And usually my fashion is not uh, Harry Potter, <laughs> Gryffindor actually, Gryffindor uh, hoodie and sweatpants, but sometimes you do get that content when I'm chilling at home. Uh, so if you want to uh, subscribe, if you want to uh, follow my also fashion uh, uh, tips and what I wear and how I style things, because I usually have a little bit of a very girly alternative style, please subscribe if you want to follow a little bit of what is the day-to-day -day life of a business owner, of a boutique owner, a small business. Send a message, ask questions. I will love to answer. And also, the other, this thing is something that I haven't talked about, actually, um, is that we're upon tax season, and this is my first year doing taxes uh, with a business. There's been a lot that uh, needing organization. So we keep the, all the files very organized, but keeping them organized and keeping them filed in a way that is going to make your life easier when you're filing taxes are two different things. So me and Jonas, this whole weekend, we were like gathering everything, doing this, doing that, making sure everything is, that everything, uh, all the information is correct, all the filing is correct, everything is in its place, like gathering all of those things, double checking, triple checking, everything. So it's a lot of things and I don't think anybody really talks about much because that's like, that's boring. Like it's boring stuff, it's legal stuff. So I keep everything very, very organized. I think that's why um, I'm so like, cause I enjoy the storefront. I enjoy being there every day, I enjoy but i also love the part that is that what goes on behind the scenes with the system with making sure everything is organized everything is put in the system correctly making sure everything else i know pretty much by head everything that's in the store i don't have somebody to work with me right now but i'll, I'll get into um i might get oh there she is <laughs> i might get into why in the future hey this is pepper hi so I like the uh, the process that goes on behind the scenes, like of not only choosing the pieces. I love fashion. I think I already mentioned that, but I love uh, also the organization, the business side of things. So, and I'm the one who does uh, Instagram. I'm the one who does content. I'm the one who does the website, the system, everything. It's a one woman show with my husband helping me out. 
but um we don't have another employee we don't have like a so it's we are the ones who do everything so uh filing taxes is definitely something that if you have any plans of opening a business especially us we oh look at her <laughs> especially if you have any plans on opening a business that is either online i know that online it's a whole different process because we're online and also physical we have the brick and mortar store uh so uh just remember that keep things very organized keep things uh look for a good look for somebody trustworthy to file your taxes remember to make everything very clear you know for next year especially uh and i learned a lot in this process i learned i definitely did learn a lot now uh we started this vlog talking about tax season uh but let's go um i don't really know what's going to happen today so i'll talk to you boys later have not been filming a lot today it's almost the end of the day i am still in <laughs> this, this is not my pajama this is just my stay at home clothes but i had a little accident and i'm covering it up right now because me and pepper we were playing and she accidentally scratched my face from here to here so now i'll have this and this just indicates to me that it's time for me to cut her nails but i can't do that by myself and my little brother's not home and jonas is going to only come in friday so I guess for the rest of the week, I'll be very careful in playing with her, probably, because not fun. Good morning. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was my day off. I'm here at the store. Before I show my outfit, before I do any of the other things, I need to clean that because right now it says good luck runners and I need to change to I'm thinking maybe in love with the warmer days getting ready for the warm days or something like that in a summer mood maybe I'm not sure I'm still deciding but I think I'm only gonna erase the top and change the bottom and I think that's going to be it I will show you my outfit today I'm super colorful like you know even though I am, I have my little darker side, like darker side, I'm talking about like dark colors, okay? I love my dark colors, my blacks especially, I'm not a big fan of brown, uh, but still, you know, I love my colorful stuff, especially eh, any time of the year. You, you, If you were watching the channel during the winter style, the winter, the like dead of winter, you know, I was definitely wearing pink and blue and, and a lot of color in the winter too so yeah i'm just here grabbing my laptop because i need to bring the that out there because i took it home with me on sunday so now i have to do the plaque work on work on some stuff show you my outfit do everything that we were supposed to do on monday that we're doing today Black is out, but I think it's gonna rain pretty soon, so <laughs> I might need to take it out. So let me show you my outfit today because I pulled one of my favorites. You think that the way that I say it, things uh, I'll explain why this is one of my favorites because I my outfits are always my favorites, okay? That's kind of it. This dress is one of my favorites from Unique Vintage. <laughs> This is one of my favorite dresses from Unique Vintage. I had this since 2019. Uh, this is one of my favorite colors and the silhouette is just absolutely perfect. I think you can wear with the belt or without the belt. You, you know, it's it's perfect. It's a, a 1950s style swing dress. I think that's what it was called. I know that they don't have this exact one, but they have other ones. You know, it's been years since I had this, so who can blame them from up for updating? But yeah, so this one is really cute. I love the silhouette. I love the color. I think you might have seen that I do have quite a few things with this color. Pink, this, and black. Definitely a favorite. 
but today i decided to pull this dress out it wasn't fitting quite right for like a little while that's why i hadn't been wearing that much because it was too tight on the chest and now it's fitting very very well and very comfortably and this one also has pockets yay and there and you just seen a little peek of something that i was going to talk about but let me talk about the rest of the outfit i paired it with my all saints uh leather belt my Vivian Westwood uh, repurposed choker. This one was the one that I made. Like the chain, the chain I substituted from the uh, pearl because I got it stained. So, so I reused the clasp and the pendant to actually make this one repurposed. Great. Uh, the earrings and the neck, the longer necklace are both from Swarovski from the Owl collection a few years ago. And I'm also wearing a little bow, but I'll show you that later. And the little cardigan. <laughs> and the little cardigan is one that I got from ASOS. You know, pretty easy black shorter cardigan. But this dress is looking absolutely like this because I am wearing a petticoat, okay? I did pull out the petticoat today. And I might be wearing more petticoats. I think I have like three petticoats. I have a white, a black, and a blue one. And hey, like petticoats are amazing. Look, look at the swing of this. And for the shoes, I am wearing my Empress Comfort shoes. And they are perfect. And let me just do this. And I'm wearing a... a bow in my hair because i don't know why i'm obsessed with bows now let me keep working because i have a lot of things to organize if you're looking at my hair and you think that it's a bit more curly than usual it's because it is i bought that like heatless um curler that you have like that you like put on and like you tie it around I didn't take any pictures because I was still trying it out. I tried it and it woke up like this. And I think, I have to say that I like it. It's a little bit more of those tight curls than I'm used to, but I didn't put any product in my hair and they're holding up so well. I do think that this side, I think I curled it a little tighter than this side. I'm not, you know, so it's looking a little different. Like, especially here, it's looking a little different than this side. This side is looking a little bit tighter. But I don't mind, it was the first time that I did it. I woke up and my hair was pretty much done. So I'm actually, I actually like it. So I might do probably tomorrow, uh, me, me curling my hair with it, just so, you know, we have that. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, let me go. <laughs> Cause starting, uh, the, that, that's the thing that I had forgotten to talk about. It's time to go home, but I wanted to talk about because last video last week's vlog uh if you watched it you saw that I talked about a customer people that came in here that were rude and that try and that were going into my fitting room to try on things on that had nothing to do with my store but today I want to highlight a good experience which was a girl came in and she was talking about how she uh it's not super confident wearing dresses she's, she hasn't like you know she loves dresses but she just never got around to actually wearing them and so she was like hey like summer's coming up uh can do you have any recommendations can you recommend me any dresses like what you like so i started talking to her getting to know her style a little bit more uh and then she pulled we pulled out a bunch of stuff okay pulled out a bunch of stuff she went into the fitting room we started talking I got to know a little bit more about what she's more comfortable in, what she wants from the from the styles that she wants to try new. I started like talking to her about my tips and tricks on how like I make certain dresses fit in with my personal style, with like how you can kind of, in if you're not used to wearing like dresses all the time, how you can like start incorporating those more in so you can like feel more confident. And it was just overall fantastic experience that's like one of the main reasons like why i love the store and i love the, the these interactions because even though there are some bad ones you know some people that are very disrespectful uh there are people that are just 
fantastic, amazing, and she was one of them. So thank you so much. If you're watch this, hey Diana, you're welcome to come in anytime. And I loved it. And I loved my interaction with you. So thank you. I have to go to the Prudential because I need to pick up some um, coffee. So that's why I was putting on my clothes while I was putting on my coat while I was uh, finishing up things here. So yeah, let me go or else I'll be late because it's already 7.30 and um, I need to get there before eight. So let me go, bye. I am home and I got some goodies from Sephora. I went in because they of uh, the VIB sale. So I just got pretty much just things that I actually need. I didn't get anything fun to try. Uh, I got, okay. I got the Omega water cream. This is the same one that I've been using. This one. So I just purchased the second one because that one's almost gone. Um, I live and breathe for um, vitamin C. So I just also got, oh, here it is. So I just also got the Inky 15% vitamin C and I'm not going to try to pronounce the rest of the things. Then I got some hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. This is a bit... The thing that I like about these is that they like... There's a lot in there. It's so good. I love it. I love the like serum. I like serums more than I like the moisturizers because the moisturizers just, they they are supposed to be heavier. They're supposed to be on top of your skin. So yeah, weird tangent. Okay, and then I got some um, Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. I like a uh, light cover foundation, light coverage foundation, and. So I got this one. I got this one in the shade uh, 210N. Uh, which I think it's... Yeah, it's my shade. Probably, it's probably like, yeah, it's pretty, pretty close. I'm very neutral toned. So. think like right now and it's also in my hand but right now it's looking like it's a little bit dark for me that is just because I am a very pale person at this time of the year so yeah gotta work with what you got yeah and I also use the uh, rare beauty um, concealer I used it in the 170 W so yeah, if you want to know my shades, I usually like my concealer a little lighter than my um, foundation. So let me clean this up because I just got some on my hand. So I have to go with something because I'm hungry. Oh, and I also got some coffee. I also got some Nespresso. Nothing too exciting. So. <laughs> Good night. Love you guys. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Today is Wednesday. And I think I'm fitting the theme. <laughs> if you watch the Wednesday, okay? If you watch Tim Burton's Wednesday, too. I'm here at the store. Already put everything out. Today is quite a gloomy day. Like, not joking. I don't think it's going to rain, but it sure uh, has, like, the rain kind of look. But it's not too cold, not too crazy, so... Hopefully, it's going to be a good day. So, um, no. Let me show you my outfit today. Well, we are very <laughs> spring, spring style dresses, spring cuts for dresses, but darker colors. That's me. Okay, so this dress, 
I don't remember exactly where I got it from. I'm so sorry. I tried to look at the tag, but I think the tag was kind of bothering me at the neck, so I cut it off. But I feel like this is kind of a little bit of Zimmerman inspired. But I know it's not from Zimmerman, okay? I know that I did not pay that much for this. Uh, but it's like a linen style dress. I think I must have gotten maybe in Brazil or from a Brazilian store or something. Had this for a really long time. But it's like this very cute, like fit and flared style with the buttons. These are, I had to close them individually. I didn't close the top. I also put like an intimacy me cami underneath it just because, you know, don't want too much of this showing. And I also didn't want to close it all the way up here because it was going to be too much for me, for my taste. It also has like these really long sleeves and I actually like the sleeves down. It's just that it's not too cold today for me to wear the sleeves down. That's why I'm pulling them up. No, well, let me pull them up again. And I also like to show off my tattoo. Okay, basically. And this one, it shows off like a little bit. Now, this, uh, this um, harness, this is actually from a brand called Disturbia. It's Disturbia UK, if I'm not mistaken. I got this uh, in 2021, but I didn't wear it because I think I ordered a size too small. And it wasn't like, it was, it like on the waist it fit, but it was kind of like a little bit small, like on, on the straps. So I didn't wear it for a real long time. But now it's fitting a lot better, so definitely going back to wearing it. I actually finally started wearing it. And yeah, so I like that it's a, like a little bit bigger. I like the the like the silhouette that it creates. Super cute. Jane and Doc Martens, because like this look just needs it. And because uh, the details on the harness are all silver, I'm not usually a silver girl, but today I chose all my pieces. All of them are from Zorowski, but I chose them all with the silver theme in mind. So this necklace is like this one that has like a little blue stone on it. The second one is also from Zorowski. This one and this one I chose to kind of match. And I'm also wearing like my tennis bracelet and these two other bracelets that I think my mom got me that are all from Swarovski that are all supposed to be like kind of all different. All the same metal, but all like they're unique pieces if you look at like them separately too. Okay, and also a little bow in my hair. I did the, my hair still has curls from the, from the heatless curl thing. So I'm actually loving this. 10 out of 10, I'll probably do it. Next time I wash my hair, I'll probably do the, the actual video of me putting the curls in, the curler in. Yeah, but that's today's outfit. So, um, about a month or so ago, maybe, I showed something that I was like really wanting uh, from Etsy and I got it. So let me show you. I didn't, it's, okay, so uh, if you were a big fan of Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen with Lindsay Lohan, you remember her iconic necklace. And I found this Etsy seller that she does uh, the kind of like she does the exact replica but she also does the other ones and i ordered one for me and so so i just got it literally i was just opening i'm turning it this way because like my address on the other side so she sent a little letter saying enjoy your necklace and i'll leave the link directly to her site to her page down here but let's see i ordered mine oh oh my god it's so so cute i love it okay so i ordered mine with the gold chain and the black uh bottle caps because like come on like this is going to be exactly my style okay so i just got my necklaces out and let's see how this looks Oh my god, this is such a fun piece. This is such a fun piece. I love it. 
Oh my god. Like, <laughs> yeah, so I'll leave the link directly to this. Uh, d just to let you know, I pay this with my own money. I love it. Oh my god, this is so, so cute. And I love that I got like with the black caps because this I'm going to wear it so much. And with the gold chain. Yeah, uh, so I did get in contact with the seller just, just to let you know. I did get in contact with the seller just to ask if she could do the gold chain. And she said that, it, that if I wanted the gold chain, I could just uh, leave, like, write it down on the notes that I wanted with the gold chain. And she would do it. So that's what I did. And it's absolutely perfect. And I feel like I'm in the movie Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen.